New at 7:30. We all know the restaurant industry got hit really hard during the pandemic, especially smaller places. But as things begin to open back up again, a group of, a group of local breweries is coming to the people with a series of pop up beer markets. The first one is actually tomorrow night in Lawrenceville. And joining me now live is Scott Smith, the founder of East End Brewing, one of the many breweries taking part in this. Scott, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, yeah thanks for having me. And what a great way to kick off summer. How exciting. So tell us about the Traveling Beer Festival and the idea behind this. How did it get its start? Yeah, so this whole uh, whole thing is the brainchild of uh, Mark Turek, who's the guy uh, behind uh, Beers of the Bird, uh, a really popular uh, twice annual beer festival uh, that, uh, or I should say, was in the before times. And so uh, he's been thinking about what we can do to, to have something that sort of fills that void in the in the interim here as things are slowly starting to open back up. Uh, so an outdoor beer market seems like a uh, uh, an obvious solution. Yeah, fabulous idea. So how many brewers are actually taking part in this? And what about the locations too? So um, it's going to be a monthly event that happens in various places around the city. Uh, tomorrow's event happens at uh, uh, Bay 41 in Lawrenceville, in the central Lawrenceville neighborhood. Uh, and we've got six breweries participating. Um, it'll be uh, the Brew Gentleman, uh, Levity Brewing Company, uh, Old Thunder, who's a new player on the uh, in the local beer scene, Shoe Brew, uh, Leaning Cask, and, oh, and East End Brewing. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> got to put yourself in there, too, for sure. Yeah, so are, no. are you or any other brewers taking part in anything special? I mean, we know there's going to be lots of beer there, but what else can folks expect? Yeah, so there'll be uh, a food truck, of course, uh, uh, providing some uh, some some fresh made fare. Uh, there'll also be uh, some local craftspeople, um, folks that have um, are for the past year have been without a format to sell their wares. Um, so uh, folks that usually do craft festivals or beer festivals, we haven't been able to hold those. So uh, we want to incorporate some of those uh, those folks into, into this and should be a, a, a nice evening from 4 to 8 p.m. And you know, in general too, you and I were talking about this um, before the break, um, folks are, are noticing Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is on the map here with beers. What, what's happening here? Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of been uh, incredible to watch. You know, we're we're um, we're the old guys on the local beer scene, so we've been able to sit back and watch all these uh, upstarts come in. But we've got, uh, I think we've approached 40 breweries in wow. uh, Allegheny County now. Um, so much so that uh, that we actually need a need a brewery guide to help people find their way from place to place. Yeah, I see that they're behind you. And talking about guides, tell us how people can find out more about this festival and all of the breweries that are going to be taking part in this. So um, the, the best place to, to have one stop shopping for this is to look at the Pittsburgh Brewers Guild uh, website, uh, which is uh, I'm going to pull that up right now. Um, uh, PittsburghBreweries.com, easy to pull that up, or you can uh, hit any of the, the breweries that you've uh, seen listed on that site, or, or, or actually this guide is available at every single local brewery uh, that's operating in Allegheny County. It's kind of amazing the level of participation and uh, engagement we have amongst all of the brewers. So everybody likes beer, everybody's in the same business for the same reason, uh, and we all play nice together. It's really a, a wonderful beer scene that uh, the rising tide definitely lifts all boats. Yeah, I agree. Well, Scott, thanks so much for joining us and giving us a sneak peek, and it all starts tomorrow. Hope to see you there. Cool. We have information, too, on all of this on KDK.com. Scott, thanks. We'll see you then. Thanks. Right.